Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hot Cakes, and I am in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection version 15. And I'm going to show you how to create a wedding intro using one of the backgrounds off of our Wedding Essentials Volume 2 HD. And the background we're going to be using is called Retro Hearts. And as you can see, I've already I've already brought it into Pinnacle Studio. It's copied to my hard drive. It's very important when using any of our digital hotcakes that you copy them to your hard drive off of the DVD before bringing them into Pinnacle Studio. So let's begin by dropping the Retro Hearts into our video track. And we'll open our video toolbox because we're going to shorten this a little bit. We're going to make it 18 seconds. Okay, and once we do that, we can start creating our titles. So let's choose Create or Edit a Title. We're going to create a Motion Title Overlay. And the first thing I'm going to do up here is set my font and size. And of course, you can you can make your title look however you want. I'm going to use the Palantino Linotype font with a size of 32. And I'm also going to change the duration of the titles to match the animation at 18 seconds. Okay, then we can type our first title, which is going to be the date of the wedding. Okay, we just grab this and center it in the middle of the heart. Okay, we're going to want this title to come in at one second. So I'm going to grab it here on the timeline and adjust the beginning to one second. And we're going to want it to, to leave at five and a half seconds. So let's drag this to five and a half seconds. This is going to line it up with the motion of the animations. You'll see that later. Okay, also, let's, let's click on our motions tab up here. And I'm going to use, for the enter, I'm going to use the page from Infinity. And for the exit, I'm going to use words to the left. Actually, letters to the left. Let's go find that one. Letters to the left. Okay, and I'm going to shorten these, these effects too. I just want them to be one second. So I'm just going to grab their little their little slider bar here in the timeline and just make them about one second. Okay, now that handles our first title, so let's add our second title, which is going to be the names of your bride and groom. So we'll choose this here, add text, because it'll leave our, our font and all that alone, and we'll just go ahead and type the name of our bride and groom. Okay, and what we the, this title is going to come in at six and a half seconds. So let's grab it, drag it to six and a half seconds, and it's going to go out at twelve and a half seconds. So we'll drag the ending to twelve and a half seconds. Okay, and the slider bar moved here. If it didn't move there automatically for you, you need to move the slider bar there so you can see where the animation is. So we can go ahead and center this title in the heart that's going to be showing up at this part of the animation. Okay, now we're going to apply the, um, that page from Infinity to the beginning of this title. And we're going to make it one second. And this time, this heart's going to leave from the other direction, so we are going to use the letters to the right instead of left. Okay. And we'll go ahead and make that one second as well. Okay, that handles our second title. We just have one more title. So let's go ahead and do our add text again. And this time, we're just going to type the title Wedding Day. And this title is going to come in at 13 and a half seconds, so let's drag that to 13 and a half seconds. And we'll move our slider bar so we can see where the animation is at 13 and a half seconds. Okay, so we can center our title in this heart here. And for this title, we just need an enter motion, and we're going to use that page from Infinity. And once again, we're going to shorten it, make it one second. Okay, 
that we are finished with our title, so I'll click OK. Go ahead and exit our video toolbox. And the next thing we're going to do is add our audio. Now we're using an audio clip called The Ride of the Valkyries, and we got it from the Fresh Music Authentic Classical CD that we purchased from SmartSound.com. And so I'm going to do my show music here, and there's my Ride of the Valkyries. You'd have to navigate to wherever you had saved your audio file. Mine's right here. I'm going to drag it down into my music track. And I'm going to double click on it to open up the, the audio editing panel here. And I need to change this, of course, to 18 seconds. And then we are finished. So let's see what we've created. <laughs> 